In my screen, I can see a daily journal page here. And also scroll down, here is some other database. So for example, let's go through a database called Sticky Note. And also click on the Sticky Note, there is no other way to visit another page. So this is why we need a navigation menu. And by that, we can easily access one page to another page. And this is exactly what we are going to learn in this video. So, see you after intro. Welcome back to main tutorial. So first, let's learn how to create a navigation menu. So first, we have to select an empty space in the very top, then click on slash and call out. So very first thing, you can see portfolio, let's write it down. And then we have to link up our portfolio page with this portfolio text. So for that, click on the six dot. And here we can see the copy link. Let's copy it and let's go back, select the portfolio. And here we can see a link icon, click on it. And let's paste the link we copy and then click on enter and now here we can put a bullet list to separate the menu so that bullet list and then again we can see sticky note let's write it down a sticky note let's scroll down and select this space and copy the link then again select the text sticky note and here you can see link icon let's just paste it and click on enter so here you can see our portfolio page sticky note page let's follow the same process for all other pages Alright, so our navigation menu is completely set up, but the tutorial is not complete yet. So click on the six dot and here you can see turn into, we are going to turn it into sync block. So this page is now completely sync. So now we have to copy this page link. Here you can see copy link to block and then we can visit some other pages. So for example, sticky note and let's take some space here. Then just paste the link we copy. There you can see some options. So it will be based and sync. So now from here, we can easily access to any other page. For example, we want to visit portfolio page. So let's just click on the portfolio here is our portfolio page so let's do the same for portfolio page paste it and paste and sync so now from here you can easily move to any other page for example is sticky note here you go and the more interesting fact is for example if you delete the mood tracker from the menu bar it will be also deleted from all other pages for example let's again visit the portfolio we can see there is also three pages and it's same everywhere so let's back to the main home page we can also see there is only three pages. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Still, if you didn't subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.